Alright, good evening guys. Uh, still on module 2. I think I'm done making the video explainer for lesson 2. So we're gonna jump over to lesson 3. Lesson 2, by the way, centered on global economy. And uh, we understood that there are a lot of actors and players. Initially, the structures that support globalization up to this date. So we also went through with a little history of how the modern uh, form of, of economic globalization has come through, no? Gigansa, Galleon Trade, Kutub Gold Standard, Kutub Bretton Woods, God, and then neoliberalism and the globalization as we know it today. So we go now to market integration, lesson three market integration we're gonna investigate and we're gonna know the role that global corporations and international financial institutions ito yung tinatawag nating IFIs uh, yung papel na kanilang ginagampan na naman upang uh, kung papaano nila na i-integrate naki create yung uh, tinatawag nating global market no again kapag sinasabi nating market integration or integration ito yung parang pagkakaisa no pagiging isa hindi pagkakaisa pala unity pala yon market integration or integration is yung pagiging isa ng ating merkado Ta tatawagin natin siyang global market oo nagsimula talaga siya dun sa pagka-homogenize uh, yung pagiging isa ng ating global economy no so through global economy no na discuss natin sa lesson 2 naging isa din yung ating trade at commerce na nagresulta din ng uh, ito na nga yung integration ng global markets natin um, of course meron ding tinatawag natin colonialism at imperialism itong colonialism ito yung pananakop imperialism ito naman yung sarili kong intindi ito ha yung imperialism ito yung parang gusto nilang maghari no uh, these two itong dalawang to um uh, nagpa laganap nagpatatag ng economic relationships uh, sa mga bansa ito yung mga kanilang ginawa no all right and uh, of course mula doon sa trade and exchange of services via shipping and navigation gaya ng ng galleon trade uh, syempre nagiging moderno yung kalakalan naging moderno yung merkado at uh, there was this emergence of big american corporations pagkatapos nung uh, pangalawang pandaigdigang ano ba yung world war 2 uh, <laughs> ewan, basta yung yung gubat guys yung pinusilay guys alright so nagsipag labasan, nagsipag ano ba yun, sibulan yung mga international corporations American muna, tas meron din tayo sa Europe, tas sa Japan ayan, kaya, kaya naman yung tatlong ito, tinatawag na triad triad ba? triad uh, tinatawag silang major economies of the world. In other words, sila yung nagdidikta ng uh, ng kwarta-kwarta sa sa tibo kalibutan, no? Nganuman tungod kay naa din hinilang tulo most if not all of the multinational co corporations and transnational corporations andito naka-base, established sa US, sa European Union, tsaka sa Japan. So, let's get into the different, let's distinguish kung ano ba itong mga MNCs, TNCs, and others, no? Simula natin sa ICs, international, international companies, ito yung importers at exporters. Walang investments outside their home countries. Um, importers and exporters lang talaga. MNCs, Google has all the, you know, list of ICs here. 
tsaka MNCs, tsaka GCs, at the NCs. But for the sake of this video explainer, ito, MNCs, may investments sa ubang gawa sa ilang country of origin, pero wala sila coordinated product offering in each country. No? Mas mas ang ilang focus kay i-adapt ang ilang mga products and services depende sa local market. So, kumbaga, I think my understanding of this is that uh, hindi nila pinipilit yung kanilang brand from the origin country to the other countries. Global companies naman, may investments pa rin, at saka yung presence nila sa maraming bansa ay nandoon. They typically market their products and services to each individual local market. If you'll notice, yung kanilang definitions, no, uh, are overlapping. Kung baga, related sila, no. Uh, for supplementary understanding, you can Google, no, kung ano ba yung mga multi MNCs, GCs, at saka TNCs, no. For sure, si Google ang daming sagot niyan. And uh, para na rin matikol yung inyong, inyong mga daliri at saka mga frontal lobes. Frontal lobes ba? Alright, now, eto. ba diba sinasabi natin na itong ICs, MNCs, G GCs, tsaka TNCs, hindi pala group chat yung GC, global companies pala yun, ano? <laughs> Siyempre joke yon so pwede na kayong tumawa. Sila yung isa sila sa agents of market integration, agents of globalization pa din, no? Um, ano bang kaugnayan ng international financial institutions or IFIs sa pagkakabuo ng global economy? Araw. Magbi-mention tayo ng dalawang ano, duha ka IFI skinning bagtik ay you know WBG and the IMF I hope by now ang kantong abbreviations na memorize na ninyo no um to cut it short si WBG yung kanyang goal at saka aim is to end extreme poverty and promote shared prosperity in a sustainable way no while the IMF works to foster global monetary cooperation, secure financial stability, and facilitate international trade. In other words, kining duha nagpautang rajud ni sila guys <laughs> sa mga countries. Now, I think the Philippines has a uh, loan or loans sa WBG, World Bank, and um, IMF, I think. And syempre, mutabang po ni sila, no? five entities sa WBG kini silang IBRD IDA, IFC I am MIGA and Exceed alright so kana sila kinig yung duha maoy ray na kining IMF o WBG magkini sila actors yun umuhis good kag international financial institutions sila gani ray na uh, here not much relevant but uh, pwede ni siya itong mention no, no? structural periods of post-war global corporations investment pe based period so syempre magpadako sa sila silang uh, capital no inigdako dako na usap pa sila mo trade base so magsugo na sila o barter barter trading no mo gawas na sila sa ilang country of origin para mo expand mo spread across the border from their origin country to other countries and uh this is very exciting interesting i mean digital globalization no if you remember ict also plays a very very big role no sa pag sa pag lambo nining globalization in fact si arjun abadura if you could remember uh na siya usa ka scape ane gitawag ni siya og technoscape no as the movement of technology as a form of globalization sort of no so if you can notice karong mga panahon na di digital na siguro halos tanan no labi na ron nga nag lockdown no ang ang mga tao work from home na lang so that's digital globalization ang mga call center to ana lang dito sa balay 
instead of the office no uh, ang pagpaninda na turon bisa mga buwak mga pots mga mga chicharon mga turon mga flower stand mga bisag unsa na lang digital no facebook twitter instagram perhaps pero most um, well, mo koy instagram so facebook ko makakita daghan kay baligya no in fact ang barteron natatay lady barter natay batuhanon barter uh, sa para Cebu barter no communities so globalization really is digitalized all right kani attributes of global corporations medyo chismis ni kay siya kanang medyo triv uh unsa ning han kanang showbiz kayo yeah, i mean in- intriguing kanang number three, a very powerful entity that can create a crisis kani pangita ako ni ninyo be i don't want to uh, i don't want to unsa ba kanang instill some some hugaw sa inyong una-una no pero global corporations ko no are very powerful that they can create a crisis is it possible then nga kining atong mga crisis nga naagian og gi agian pa karon nga atubang pa karon could it be that It's brought by global corporations, no? Sa mga mga dato ng mga kompanya kay duna ba sa economic prominence, no? O parte o kwarta prominente gina sila, meaning im kanang labaw kanang kusgan. In fact, uh, dagan kay global corporations nga mas dato pa, no? Mas dako pa kaysa GDP sa mga developing countries, no? na ay mga global corporations nga mas daghan pagkita o valuation kaysa sa Pilipinas, kaysa GDP sa Pilipinas. And that's true. no? And uh, they are an agent of desired economic development. Siyempre, sila jimudikta sa pananalapi sa buong mundo. No? Kay sila may ning invest, sila may ning trade, sila may ning uh, sila ay ning sila ay dato kung kumbaga, no? Now, international financial institutions, yes, they play important role in the social and economic development programs of developing and transitional nations. And uh, they are called, they are supposed to be instruments, no, sa pag-function sa global economy, dili lamang sa usakanasod, but tibuo kalibutan, kay global economy, no? So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not much on lesson Lesson 3, pero kay mura siya related sa lesson 2. But uh, here, ang atong pinaka-focus, ang role sa global corporations o sa IFIs. Thank you very much.